What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. So in the last video, you saw me escape up to this point with the tank behind me. This is gonna be the new Goldfish Aquarium. It's looking awesome so far and I'm loving it. So far we've added in the base layer, the substrate on top, the decorative sand, if that's what you can see there, it's basically a mix of all gravels and sand. And then we've put our cobbles or pebbles or whatever you want to call them on the top, and they're looking great so far. But as said in the previous video, this back area here, I need to pack out of a lot more sand because it's not deep enough. Now I've already been to the shop and I've got more sand. Now this stuff here has got like flecks of black in it, which this original sand didn't, but the stuff on top has, so hopefully that won't matter. Anyway, I'd like to keep that more to the background. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna just pour it all in, um, keeping it more sort of shallow in the center, and then just building up two, two sort of mounds at the side. Kind of like what I did with this aquarium here, really, but this one's gonna look a lot different to that, don't get me wrong. This is gonna be a lot more sort of rounded and smooth looking, but first of all, yeah, I need to get that sand in so that we've got a place to put our stem plants in. I need to get them really anchored in because I'm not sure what these goldfish are gonna do. When I say these goldfish i'm referring to these guys the orantu crew we've got ember we've got ghost and we've got pumpkin these guys are absolutely awesome and i'm really looking forward to them seeing them in their new aquarium this one is like good don't get me wrong but i want something bigger and something better for them that's what we're doing over there <laughs> around the corner there <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> <coughs> well it turns out i really should have done this in a well ventilated area but never mind but you can see behind me look we're piled up in the corners now i'll tidy that up in a minute but i've got to get out of here right now <laughs> okay so the dust has settled the next thing i want to do guys is go out and get like the smaller detail rocks i showed you in the last video just to scatter around all of these like nice rounded flat pebbles at the bottom tie it all in nicely and give a nice really nice 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 bit of detail just give us a detail nice detail what am I saying? <laughs> yeah, this is the stuff that I'm talking about in here, look. So we've got loads of cool stuff to use. Get it in the tank. So as usual, guys, you want to take the cross-sectional area of the front portion and directly divide that with a handful of pebbles. And then you want to just chuck it on. <laughs> there we go, look. I'm just, just give it, just chuck it in loose. Bigger bits at the front, smaller bits coming from, you know, away towards the front front as well that didn't make sense did it big bits around the bigger bits small bits at the front there you go job done Okay, so I know I always say this, but this time I mean it. I did not think this was going to look as good as it. No, I say that, I always mean it, don't get me wrong. I didn't think it was going to look that good. Look at that. Obviously, ignore the background because that doesn't need to be filled in with details because there's going to be plants all over it. I will scatter some of this stuff on it as well just to make it look good. Uh, but that is looking great. Blend it. It looks kind of like a... Like a I don't know, like a like another planet or something. That's what I'm, I guess it's the black background. It looks a little bit sort of starry with the light. No, not starry, what am I talking about? But you know, it does look kind of like a some kind of moonscape or Titan or something like that. I don't know what I'm saying now, but you know, how good does that look? I'm really, really, really pleased with how that's turned out so far. I could just leave it like that. Someone mentioned about the uh, Aquarium Design Group's take on a, a goldfish tank, a fancy goldfish tank, which was real minimalistic and just sort of big boulders and then a plain gravel. And it did look great, but I like plants. And I did even think about doing that as well. And I thought, yeah, I could do it. And then I thought, who am I kidding? I know I'm just going to pack out of plants. I can't not do that. I, th I think they're too good to not have in the tank. Plus, without plants, I'd have to do water changes. And who the hell wants to do that? 
but so far so good now if this wasn't going to be for goldfish i think i'd actually put some wood in here as well and just some sort of branches in those different areas and then use those as a structure for all the plant life and that but goldfish don't want loads of wood in there they're just clumsy they just bump into it i mean you've seen them what they're like swimming around let's go and have a oh well it's night time but yeah there you go you can sort of still see look there's ghost in the dark Look at look, blah 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 blah. It's just gonna it's just especially Ember, look, it's just gonna swim into stuff. <laughs> so yeah, keep it like that. Look, look at how much space they're gonna have. There's so much swim space there, so that is perfect. The next thing we need to do now is start like picking out the plants. I mean, with goldfish, the best thing to do is either tie all of your stuff down or or if it stems, anchor it deep. I still don't know if they're gonna rip it up by the end by the end of all of this, guys. When I put them in, <laughs> I might put them in, go, there's the fish, lovely, and the end of the video. Boosh. Then come back the next morning and then there's nothing left. That might be the case. I hope not, but it might be. Anyway, preparing plants. Now it was at exact hang on. That's good. It was at exactly this point when I decided just to do the, what you've seen above, the full white ceiling, a lot more light in here. The reason for doing that is just I thought it was a bit gloomy and I think it really has improved the look as you've just seen in the previous vlog, so I'm not gonna go on about it, but we need to get some plants sorted now and I've got loads to choose from. And as usual, we've got loads of plants to choose from. So I've got that plant back down there and also that one down there. So they've got stems in, they've got plants that we've already got in this aquarium. So I don't want to do the same plants again, but I do want to mix it up a bit, but there will still be some of that. I, you know, Java fern looks good, moss looks good. So we'll have a little touch of those and then try and keep it sort of islandy with some stems, crypts. I'm going to put them in, see how they fare. They might get ripped up. We've got a great selection of plants here. I'm really lucky. Tropica actually sent me these plants a while back now, probably about a month ago, and I've had them in my storage tank since. They've actually converted to their submerged state because obviously they're grown out of water with the roots in like a nutrient-rich fluid. Um, that's the fastest way to grow plants, but they look so good. I mean, oh, I'm spilling stuff. Look at that. These are the crypts. This is the crypt patchy which like goes sort of a brownier color eventually the new leaves will do they look amazing we've got some booster phalandra wavy green variety that one is look look how nice that one is as well all these are looking so good i can't believe it they're like great they're not even got a lot of light in that tank either because the amount of like floating plants you just saw in there but look at that that's a nubius normal uh, normal version no 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 it's not this is the petite variety yeah so it's like smaller leaf they stay small which is good i think that'll look good in there and we've got the standard booster philandra as well the booster philandra red i say standard but it's just you know booster philandra you know it's look look at these flowers that were on there as well there's another flower coming through there so cool anyway these are gonna look great and then i've got the rotala rotunda folia that's been growing out for a while let's get those red tips to it as well which you get red tips the closer you are to the light i'm gonna put a few stems in there but i'm when i plant them into the actually i'll just it's easier if i show you but when i plant them into the sand i'll be then placing a rock near that area so or a pebble not not so much a rock a rounded pebble like what i've got and that's going to stop the goldfish actually going in and just moving stuff around so i think that'll work really well that that could be the, the key in keeping the planted plants in the sand is to place like a border around them and stop the goldfish just wreaking havoc on them And obviously don't forget to cover up your plants with like some paper towel or something, spray them down and probably put them on something better than a desk chair. Anyway, we got the pebbles. So a little tip for you guys. 
This is super glue. It's like a super glue gel. This is cyanoacrylate super glue. It's really good. It instantly dries inert when it comes into contact with water. So it's completely fish safe. You know, I still get quite a lot of questions sent to me. Oh, is it safe to use super glue a fish? You're going to kill the fish. You know, this is completely fine, guys. I've used it since I started doing aquariums a few years back and it's been perfect ever since. Lots of other fish tubers and people in general use it. It's completely safe. So with a lot of our plants, what we want to do is attach them to these pebbles. Plants like the Anubias, for instance, this big old boy that will sit perfectly. So I'll just choose one of the big, bigger ones. Put the pebble around it quickly, look. Just get a little bit of moisture on it. The, the glue seems to sort of work better when the, there's a little bit of moisture on, on both surfaces. So anyway, take a glue. Take a glue, or just, just take the glue. Top off, there we go. Just a little touch. You don't even need a lot of this stuff. So look. See that? Let me show you guys. Yeah, there, there, maybe there there that's, that's pretty much it that's what you'll need put the lid back on straight away because it continues to try and squeeze out take your plant take your rock and press it down now i'm leaving all the roots on this i might trim some of the longer ones but that you know the way i see it they've grown to this size with these roots they kind of need these roots like why would you take them off apparently if you trim the roots you'll sort of promote more growth but i think it looks great anyway so look at that new growth coming on there already and my finger is now stuck to this <laughs> there we go it's come off all right there we go perfect it's already on so i can just put that in water now and it can sit you know nicely in the sand and it's going to look perfect straight away i'm going to do that with all of the anubias all of the bucephalandra and then another thing i did guys which this is kind of like a DIY shirt or something. Another thing I did was I've left a lot of the uh, rock wall on the stem plants and on the crypts. Now that's because I'm going to be planting into inert substrate and it's just going to put some nutrients straight into that sand. Usually it takes time for nutrients to get into the sand because it'll be waste from the fish obviously but with this we can go straight away and we've already got a sort of food source for the roots straight away. So I've just walked back in the studio and guess he's back with us again. Your tiny tots, little tiny tots. I don't know why I call her that. I just always have done. All the plants are ready to go in. I'm just going to start placing them in and just take my time with it, but I'll time lapse it because it can take a while to get these things right. That's all the epiphyte plants in, you know. Ep epiphyte plants are plants that you sort of you know can attach to rocks don't have to be in a substrate basically they'll pull nutrients from the water column like these ones will anubias bucephalandra java fern java moss that sort of thing now what we've got left to <laughs> we've got someone observing us <laughs> what we've got left is the crypts and the rotala and another bit of crypts as well you know both the crypts are the same i've got more crypts and rotala to go in um, i've got some more stuff down in this storage tank here but some of it's got some algae so i want to make sure i stay clear of that so take my time with that but for now let's just get these ones in and just see how that looks and we can go from there Okay, here's an example of something I've done that didn't work, right? That piece of java fern there is too big. It's blocking those beautiful rocks and it's not in the right place. It should be behind the rocks with just a little bit of green poking over the top. This one works really well though, keeping it shallow, you know, it's covering up a bit of the rock, but you can still see the sort of shape there and it looks kind of natural, like it's all just sort of grown there in that area. But this one, I think I'm gonna put it behind it. It's a bit too big and find something smaller to go in the foreground. That looks a lot better to me now remember this scape is a lot flatter than everything i usually do and that's deliberate because obviously we want loads of swim room for the fish the goldfish themselves are you know big fish they need more swim room there's no point in me moving them from that tank over there putting them in here and then just filling it all up with hardscape and plants is it that would completely defeat the object but what will happen is i'll keep it so like nicely packed down below i'm going to put more stems in the background of that side and of that side so we can fill out that lower section and some of the plants will grow up tall which is brilliant but the key is keeping that hardscape lower it does look different to usual but i'm 
liking it so far. First thing I want to do now, guys, is just spray the whole thing down loads and loads of water with the spray bottle. And what that'll do is it'll sort of lock down some of the dust particles and stop the water getting so sort of cloudy when you first fill it up. Right, that's the tank looking full and fantastic. Join me in the next video where we're gonna be adding a load of moss, even more plants, and obviously the Orangia crew to the tank. I think the tank's really coming along and I'm so looking forward to packing it right at, no, no, must resist the temptation. Adding more details, more stem plants, and the fish. See you on the next one, guys.